Uh, now please open R Studio. Import Ficus file in global environment. And uh, uh, you don't have run, we don't have an collision analysis. Okay, now I take it from start. Open uh, R Studio. Please all participant open R Studio and import Ficus file. And when you are ready, please let me know. Open R Studio and uh, import Ficus file in global environment and type done. We have learned about uh, correlation. I think we have learned about some basic things about correlation for two packages that is psych and etc. Okay, but I will uh, take it from start. Okay. So our two data task is correlation in my R. correlation analysis in R. For example, uh, again, Mr. Rahim is a PhD scholar and uh, his supervisor asked him about please draw correlation plot or draw correlation table in R on Ficus dataset. So the first question should be arise in his mind. Anyone can please let me know which question should be arise in Mr. Rahim mind when his supervisor say, please draw a plot, correlation plot in R The first question arise, which package will be used? Which package will be used? So its answer is for correlation analysis, there are many packages are available, but uh, Most commonly used packages are Psych and Coreplot. So the two packages are available for correlation. Although many packages are available, but these are most frequently used. So these are the two packages that is Psych and Coreplot. So uh, we need to install these packages. So all participants, please install these two packages from packages, click on packages. Or you can also install by writing here command or code, install dot packages, install dot packages. And within inverted comma, type package name, psych. 
and press run button your package will be start automatically or if you face or feel it is difficult method just open screen number four click on packages and press install button and type here psych and select psych and press install button now our package will be installed Please all participants install these two packages. One is Psych and second is Core Plot. When you have done this step, type done within chat and then we will move to next step. Please all participant type done when you have done this step. Okay, uh, still two participants have done, three participants have done. Okay, I move to next step, but remaining participants, please do hurry. Okay, maximum participant have done this step. So next we need to turn on this package. When you have machine, when you have laptop, uh, same example, when you want to do work on laptop, you need to turn on your laptop. Similarly, when you need to work on package, first you need to turn on packages. So to turn on packages, we used a word library, library, psych, and run it. Okay, I hope you have done library. Uh, I think you have not installed this package. 
the warning appeared when you want to uh, install any package because we don't have this package within R. So we need to import this package from uh, our CRAN website. So it work online and uh, download our package or from our CRAN website and install it within R. So it give us a warning message. We don't have this package and you need to install it. So ignore it. Just check uh, last comments. That is your package is package site successfully unpacked. Just focus on these last comments. If successfully unpacked, it means you get this package. If it show failed message, you need to try again to download this package again. No, we need to write a script for correlation analysis. Here is a, fun a function that is score score dot test. Select score dot test. or dot test this one uh, it show that it is a psych function and at the right sides it is the its general formula will be appear so you need to just click on code dot test within bracket type your file name ficus you also uh, need to try it again uh, core plot please if uh, first time fail try it again it may be due to internet issue otherwise it will uh, successfully installed so if you failed get failed message or uh, your console is working a red dot appear. Check your uh, screen number two. If red dot appear, it means your screen is, your R is working now. So you need to wait for it. If red sign disappear, then you need to check your packages in R uh, screen number four. In search here, core plot. Here is, you can find core plot. If you find here, Core plot, it's mean your package is already installed. So all participants, please type this step code.test ficus. This is a very simple script or code for correlation analysis. Uh, click on it and run this code. No, all participants run this code and uh, you will get an error. X must be numeric. If any participant facing issue, uh, you can share your screen. Uh, if the HRM uh, Rana kindly, if you have done installation, it's okay. If you face any issue, please you can share your screen. Okay. When you run this code, core dot test ficus, you will get an error. X must be numeric. It's showing that for data analysis, we need numeric data. We need numeric data. Uh, okay, I will allow you just a minute. So we need a numeric data. So please open your file 
click on ficus and check when you move cursor on heading uh, line will be appear it show that column one numeric with range it's mean column one is numeric column two is also numeric column three is also numeric column four is also numeric while column fifth is not numeric it's character so uh, r show us for correlation analysis we need all numeric variable we don't need this uh, character variable in this script so we need to remove column five so just type within this bracket square bracket minus five square bracket and minus five and run this code and you will get this table correlation table it show two tables first is correlation matrix and second is probability values so please all participants uh, done uh, this step and type done within chat while i am going to share a screen for Dr. Iftahar Ahmed Rana Saab, kindly share your screen. Uh, yes, it's working. Uh, core plot successfully unpacked. Where is issue? Your package core plot successfully unpacked. Here you get same error, x must be numeric. You need to uh, minus uh, line number 23. Please so come on line number 23. After ficus, type uh, square bracket. Square bracket, not inverted comma. Square bracket. Press square bracket. It is the button after P. Please check on keyboard after P square bracket and don't use inverted comma. Please remove inverted comma. And opening and closing, yes. And type within minus five. Uh, you can uh, see my script I show you. Please wait. Uh, see this screen and type like this. Square bracket minus five. It's mean we are going to uh, remove column number five. The this sign square bracket indicate column number. Dollar sign indicate column names. When we when we draw dollar sign after any file name it show us columns name while when you type square bracket and uh, write or type anything within square bracket in number it show that column number so we want to minus five it's mean we want to remove column number five this is column number five you can if you uh, bring your cursor near to species it show column five character so we need to remove this column number five so run this you will get a table two tables one is correlation matrix and second is probability values so now we uh, do some basic coding here what is coding coding is giving any code or any specific name to a script. And here we use the word less than minus. Less than minus mean equal. I am giving here heading just for heading. Less than minus mean equal. If you want to give code, what is code? In R, Coding mean code word. When we 
uh, write code word for someone like uh, in uh, math like fse matrix or uh, middle classes we are uh, we all participant have learned this x equal dash 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 and many more amount is will be here but and this all amount is equal to x similarly when we allot this script a code a new name this is a script when we give a name like this i give it uh, x so i am saying x equal to this script x equal to so it is a coding similarly i will show more example you will be understand if i have a mount 5 plus 9 and run it it show me result 14 but if i type here 5 plus 9 it give me an error 5 not found but if i create a code that is 5 equal 5 i create a code this show that this 5 equal to this 5 and uh, run no it's working five argument is created or it is a temporary file and it will be disappear when you close your r so run it again no if we want two plus five and nine if you remove it no issue no we want two plus five plus nine you can say it's work it shows us a result so it is according we give a code word for example if i give a code word that is five less than minus five here is a five but if i save ten no i give a new name ten to five i give a name ten to five no when i run this script again five plus nine it show me result 19 but while i am you are uh, if i remove this code you are unable to do what is behind this five what is behind this five so it is a coding so similarly when you uh, write here uh, uh, this script and you give a code that is less than minus sign and before minus and its name you can uh, change its name uh, for example we can say it is a rahim file so i give its name rahim and run it you can give any name to this script no it is file with rahim no when i just type and run uh, rahim this is word rahim and run it it gave me the similar result so i create a code this is a coding in r so it is a very easy, not very difficult, especially for the uh, student of sciences. And uh, because we are <clears throat> unfamiliar with uh, these uh, type of skills and uh, face and issues and feel it is very difficult or very complicated, but it is very easy language. So uh, I save this script in Rahim. Now it is a coding. This is the coding. So this sign indicate then less than minus mean equal sign. No, I want to draw its plot. To draw its plot, we need a, another package, another function of psych that is pairs dot panel. So select here pair dot panels type file name ficus again we know we need to minus 5 minus 5 and run it now you will get a very beautiful plot in screen number 4 copy this plot and share it within whatsapp group
actually twenty three. So all participants draw this plot and share it within group. And if you face any issue, please let me know. There is a plot. No, if you want to add a star, uh, for example, uh, Rahim, Mr. Rahim, show this plot uh, uh, to his supervisor, but his supervisor said that please draw star on significant values. So we need to draw star. Again, come on line number five, write comma, and after comma, type stars, and uh, after T, and run it. What is mean by T? No, uh, you can see star are appeared here. Uh, these values are significantly positive. These are significantly negative significant. These are negative significant. And these two are positive significant and these are non-significant values. So you can ex explain or interpret this graph as well. Yes. Yes. Shaheer Ahmed, uh, kindly, uh, what you want to install? How to install the file? Which file you want to install? Okay. I repeat this. Now we uh, need to write a function. Pairs. Dot panel. Select panel. Here is a panel. Within panel type ficus or file name square bracket and within square bracket type minus five and comma stars equal t and run it now you will get a, a correlation plot in our core plot uh, you just need to open packages Within packages, type here for plot. Sorry, here install button. And uh, in install, type here for plot. I think you uh, maybe missed previous classes or, okay, can you share your screen? Please all participant draw this plot. I am sharing this script in group. And draw this plot and uh, share it within group. Uh, while Mr. Um, uh, Shahir Ahmed kindly share your screen. All participants, please draw plot and share it within group. No, you can draw this plot on your own data set. And no, you need to do practice on other type of data set for these analysis. Uh, please share your screen. Please open R. Uh, show me full screen. Click on packages. I think you uh, join late. Uh, type install button. No, uh, type here install. No, no, sir, kindly screen number four. Come on screen number four. Install core plot. No, sir, just core plot. C O R.
core plot okay run it please wait until red dot disappear you can see a red dot no your package successfully unpacked no it's working Okay, and now you please uh, draw this plot and share in group. And now please, uh, again, Mr. Rahim show this plot to his supervisor, but his supervisor is again not satisfied. We asked, please, we tell to uh, Mr. Rahim, please draw plot within core plot. Use core plot package for correlation plot. So, Mr. Rahim again come on our studio lab. Open R Studio and no, we need to library core plot and run. No, all participants please uh, do library core plot and type done. All participants please. do library core plot and type done okay and now open core and within core type ficus and run it it shows again x must be numeric. This is a very small one word script for correlation. It is very easy as compared to other tools. Just need to write a core. Your data will be show a correlation table. No, it show me an error x must be numeric. As in our previous case, x must be numeric so we will need to remove column number five so open square bracket within square bracket type minus five and run it no he show us the correlation table correlation matrix Now we need to again give its code or uh, naming less than minus. And we get, first uh, in our previous case, I think I give its name X or Rahim. No, I give it another name. Uh, for example, I give its name uh, Y. You can give it any name. Uh, you can, uh, depending on your analysis, you, for example, if you are uh, working on ficus file, you can give its name ficus correlation. So uh, you will be easily uh, get this script. Uh, so I just am typing here Y and run it. Now we get it. Y in screen number. Three, and uh, we have create a code that is y. Y equal. When we run this y, this code will be run. So now we need to draw a plot. So type here core plot. Core plot. This one. Select this one. Core plot, and within core plot, just type y. And define method. When you just type y, 
it will give you a by default plot. This give us a default plot. Very easy and very simple script. Just need to write one or two things. You will get uh, any type, any data set correlation. No, if you can define method type comma and after comma type method, select method and after method type here, for example, I want to draw a plot like uh, uh, pi plot, pi, and run it. No, you will get pi plot, copy this plot, and share it in within group. Copy this plot and share it within group. No. If again, uh, Mr. Rahim supervisor say that, please no, uh, not by, please draw circle plot, circle. We need circle within correlation plot. So he again copy this plot. I give its name, pi plot for record. And next I type here, circle. No, we need again the script. Copy the script again as we ha had done in the case of ggplot2. Copy and paste. And just want to need to change here pi to circle. And run it. Our plot became circular. No. If you want to need just color based on color, so type color within color, copy it again and paste it here and change from pi to color and run it. No, its color will be changed. It is based on color. Copy it and paste it from. Okay. Now again, his supervisor say that please we need numbers within instead of color. Type number. Again, paste script, copy the script, and paste it here, and change color with number, and run it. No, you can say number have been alerted to this plot instead of color. Okay, no. If you are okay, now if uh, Mr. Rahim supervisor say that we just need upper half, not lower half. So he again come on pi, comma again invert uh, inverted comma, and within inverted comma he need upper and run it. You will get just upper half. Copy it, paste it within group no if he need lower half copy this replace lower and you will get lower half so uh, you will do practice on upper and lower for circle, upper and lower for color, upper and lower and for number and for number, upper and lower plot. Please draw all this plot and share it within group. If you face any issue, please uh, let me know. If it's okay, you have got it or if you have any question, uh, related to this class, please you can ask.
Uh, yes, uh, Dr. Shahidul Islam, please share your screen. I allow you, please share your screen. Please see line 173. After 5, there is no square bracket. Please add square bracket after 5. Yes. <clears throat> no. Cross button disappear. No come on screen number 177. It again show you cross button. So it's need, uh, <clears throat> you need to remove less and minus sign. Okay, it disappear. Okay, no. Come on line number 183. 183. Uh, um, you write a wrong quote. Uh, pi is within inverted comma but you uh, have uh, done in 187 line number 187 and you have a uh, right core dot plot but it but it is a core plot not core dot plot so remove it core plot yes third one yes okay now run it Okay, now you need to, uh, please come on screen number uh, four. You need to uh, decrease, you have increased the size of screen number one and screen number two. Please uh, reduce the size. It's showing that reduce size and bus. Okay, okay, it's okay. Now again run this code, line number 187. Bigger margin too large. So please again. Uh, yes, no, it's work. Again, please screen number uh, line number one eighty three. Run one eighty three. Uh, you need to clear this image from brush button. Brush button from brush button. Yes, clear it. And uh, no, uh, one minute, please. One minute. Uh, you, uh, your code is uh, again incorrect. C O double R code plot. 187. Please, line number 187. Remove this complete. Again, type core. And uh, select uh, fifth one, core plot, yes. No, run this code. No, it's work. No, please draw all this. You need to uh, 183 core plot, not core dot plot. Core plot. Core plot. Select this and run it. Please run it. Okay, you get this plot. Hope uh, you have done. Next. No, no, not here. You need to write core plot. Just it is core. C-O-R core. It's okay. <clears throat> um, other codes are okay. Okay, thanks.
Okay. Uh, thank you all uh, respected participant. Uh, if you have any further questions, you can ask within uh, WhatsApp group. And no, please, you can do practice on your own data set as well as on FICUS file and other data set. Try it, no, uh, your other data set if uh, possible. I have shared this all command in WhatsApp group. So please copy it and try this. Okay. Okay, thanks all participants. I'm going to close class. Now our next class is about uh, uh, PCA and some advanced tools. So all participants try to attend live class. Thanks, goodbye.